Hi, I'm Linda Sessions, and I'm the, your instructor for CED 115 this summer. This video is going to talk about Module 1, what you can expect this week. And for those of you who might be watching this video that I'm not your instructor, a lot of this stuff is the same that we do in the classes. But the other two instructors at WSU Tech do things a little bit differently, so make sure that you follow what they tell you to do in their classes. And always, always pay attention to the details. So right now, I'm going to get into the class in Blackboard. And let's see, here we go. Let me go ahead and turn the student preview on. This is what you should see when you get into your class. And there's a syllabus overview. Again, the welcome to WSU Tech. Make sure you read through the Start Here folder information. Student resources for CED 115. There is something very important in this folder, and that is this accessing, accessing the e-text. Here is a video right here. It's like five minutes long that goes into detail about how to access the e-text for this class. It is very important that you get into your e-text as soon as possible. You have already paid for it. You do have access to it. And um, so go ahead. The first time you log in, you have to create your account with Cengage. And this video will walk you step by step how to do that. So please watch this email, watch this video first. Go back up here into the course content area. I'm going to scroll down here and you can see for my class, you have module one. Now I don't open up all the modules at once. They open up on Fridays at 8 a.m. So you have access to that next week's work on Fridays, so you do have two weekends to complete the work if you need it. Don't wait until Sunday to start working on assignments. A couple of different reasons why. One, you're going to be rushed. You're not going to do your best work. Two, you might not end up with enough time and you won't be able to get all your assignments done and I don't accept late work. Three, if you run into issues, and you send me an email Sunday afternoon, I might not get it until Monday. There's not going to be enough time for us to email back and forth to answer your questions. So start early in the week working on your assignments so that you have the time to do them, you can do your best, and you have time to get with me if you have questions. So right here in the module, it lets you know what the date of the module is. This module actually starts June 5th, and it runs till June 11th. We're going to be covering computer concepts and the access database. Right here in the modules, I always tell you this is the text that you need to read or review before you start working on your assignments. I list it all right here. And then Finally, at the bottom of our course, of your module right here, I let you know what is due this week and when. So you can see the due dates right here on your modules. This particular one is due by 11.59 p.m. on June 11th. And you're going to need to complete the syllabus quiz, a discussion board, the Windows Module 1 training, Windows Module 2 training, Windows Module 3 training, and the Access Module 1 training. So let's go into the class in Blackboard and see, go into the module and take a look at what we're looking at. The very first thing that's going to pop up, yours might open up like this, but the very first thing is the week one checklist. This checklist will tell you exactly what to expect from the class. You'll notice this area right here you need to use a PC. If you have a Mac computer, you might be able to complete the majority of the assignments. I am learning how to use a Mac for Microsoft Office programs this summer. It's my to-do list for this summer. 
If you have questions and you have a Mac, uh, holler at me. We can figure them out together. There might be some assignments that you cannot complete everything on a Mac. The options on a Mac for Microsoft Office are a little bit different than the PC. So if you're on a Mac and you're trying to do the assignment and you it's not there, that particular option, then you're probably going to have to use the remote desktop so you have access to a PC version of Microsoft Office to complete your assignments. The other thing is a Chromebook. If you have a Chromebook, if you have access to the, the Play Store where you can download the app for remote desktop applications, then you can still use that Chromebook for this class. You're just going to have to use that remote desktop. And what the remote desktop does, it allows you to log into WSU Tech servers, and then you have access to the Microsoft Office, and you have access to Blackboard and everything like that as well through the remote desktop. If you are not able to access the Google Play Store, you cannot download that remote desktop app, then your Google Chromebook will not work you will not be able to complete assignments. Google Docs does not work for this class. We look at Microsoft Office. So what can you do if that's, your case, if that's your situation? First of all, let me know. Second of all, you do have access to our computer labs. We have labs at WSU South, at City Center, and also at NCAP. And you can go there to work on your assignments. You can also go to the public libraries. Most of them have Microsoft Office on their machines, so you have access there where you complete the assignments. We do have a limited number of laptops that you can check out through the school. Call our IT department at 677-9906 as soon as possible to see if they have one that you can check out for the summer to complete your assignments. So there's a couple of different ways that you can complete your assignments there. So this week, um, we're going to be learning a little bit about basic computer functions and file management. And we're also going to be looking at the Access Database. Now, the reason we look at the Access Database is because we want this class to transfer to your four-year universities as the computer application class. That's why we have access. We meet all of the requirements for transferability for CED 115 to transfer as the required computer classes for those four-year universities in Kansas that require a computer class. Moving on down on our checklist page, you can see here are the assignments. And you will see this on every checklist. Here it says read through it, what you need to complete, what you need to read, what you need to complete. Um, the discussion board's not on here, and I apologize for that. There is a discussion board this week as well. So this is the assignment checklist, so you can see exactly where what you need to be doing. Now, where are the due dates? The due dates are not on the assignment checklist. The due dates are in Blackboard, in the module, um, overview on the first page there in Blackboard, and they are also located in the syllabus in the course schedule, which is the last couple of pages of your syllabus. So that's where you'll find your due dates. So coming back here into Blackboard, the next one here is a link to the YouTube help videos. I will be posting some help videos over the next couple of weeks that will help you complete the assignments. So keep an eye on those there. There's a link right here in each um, module to take you to that YouTube page where if you want some additional help and resources, you can find it. Syllabus quiz, again, read the start of your folder first. Uh, introduce yourself. This is the discussion board. It's the only discussion board. It's pretty easy. You're going to select that in discussion board. Select click to launch. Then you have to click create thread. What I want to know from you is what is your major or your program of study at school? What are you going for? Is it interior design, aviation, welding, auto? What are you looking at? 
and then any other information that you'd like to share. Post early in the week so that your classmates have a chance to learn more about you as well. Check back often, read your classmates' postings, and you might find that, uh, hey, your cousin's taken the class and yet didn't know it. So check and read the information from your fellow students. Okay. Going back into the module here. The next thing we have here is the e-text. So here's the Windows Module 1. The very first thing here is the e-text. So when you click on this link through Blackboard, it's going to take you right to that module. Now when you first sign in to Cengage, it's going to take you to the Cengage website and the Cengage text. The very first time when you create your Cengage account, it's going to look like this. And this is the class, but everything in the class is located here. And you see here where we have the revised Word Module 1, 2, and 3 training. Those are due next week. The trainings that are this week are right here in the operating systems. So here's Windows 1, Windows 2, Windows 3. And here are the trainings that you need to do. Here's the link to the e-text, and here's the training. If you want to keep your life simple, though, don't depend on this page to get to your assignments. Here in Blackboard, you can click, and right here, when you click on this, select Click to Launch. It will open up your e-text in the exact chapter that goes with that training. So for this particular one, it's uh, the Windows Module 1, Introduction to Windows 10. Now, what is Windows 10? That's the operating system on your computer. The most current operating system is Windows 11. It's what I have on my machines at home. It's what I'm running. We run Windows 10 at school. Doesn't matter which one you're running. There's a lot of similarities between the two. Um, our textbook covers Windows 10. So if you're new to computers and you're like, what the heck are you talking about? Take the time to read through your textbook. So right here we can click on this little chevron and it will take us page by page through the chapter. So read through it, review it, spend some time in the e-text. When you're finished and you feel like you know what's going on, you can close that, come back here to Blackboard, and select the Do. The Do is the training. You will have training every single week over the different programs. So when you select the training, it's going to open up here. Um, in we got our Windows Module 1 SAM training popping up here. And right here we have our start. I'm going to select start. I always make this screen full size because I like the seeing everything um, on my monitor. And you can see I have observe, I have practice, and I can apply. So the observe is a video that tells you exactly what skill it's going to look at. So if I click on this arrow here, you should sign out of your computer when you want to allow another person to use the computer. Click the Start button on the taskbar to display the Start menu. Oh, come on. Where's my mouse? There we go. Um, so on the Observe, it's literally going to take you video, and it's going to talk to you about the particular skill that you need to be learning. The practice mode is the same you as the sign observe. out of your computer when you want to allow another person to use the computer. Click the Start button on the taskbar to display the Start menu. When it asks you to do something, then you have to do it before the video will continue. The Start menu is displayed. 
The apply is where you take the skill and you actually complete it. In this case, it's sign out of Windows 10. So I can come down here. I know how to do this. I can come out down here to my Windows icon, come up here to my username, and then sign out. And it lets me know that I've completed that task and I'm ready to go to the next one. You don't have to watch all of the observe. You can go straight to the apply, see if you know how to do it, sign into Windows 10's 10, and then use Windows as the password. If I know how to do this, I can type it in here. But if I do it incorrect, it's going to tell me incorrect, try again. That's where you need to pay attention to the details. If, for instance, this one, my username should be user1. Now I've got it completed and I can move on to the next task. Now in this particular one, there are 17 tasks. You can see I completed four of them. Say I've worked for about 10, 15 minutes and I, it's time to go to work or time to go to bed or something happens. I can go ahead and submit this. Say, okay, I don't need to print anything. It's submitted, close everything. Go do what I need to do. Come back the next day and I can come back to that same training. And when it loads, it's going to pick up right where I left off. I'm going to select the start button and you can see now I have task four of 17. So you don't have to complete it all in one setting. Now for this particular one, the Windows Module 1 SAM training, there's 17 tasks. You also have a training for Module 2 and Module 3. Those two are not as long. And then you have access. You have the access e-text where you can learn and read about access and then you also have the training, which is the Observe, Practice, and Apply. So, um, and I think there's 24 in the access, if I remember correctly. So, the trainings will take you anywhere. If there's, if there's 24 to 30 steps, it could take you an hour to complete. So, make sure that you set enough time to do those. If you're brand new to computers, it might take you a little longer. So again, make sure you plan your time so that you have enough time to complete your assignments. Again, all of these assignments are due Sunday, June 11th at 11.59 p.m. And you can see here in Blackboard all the assignments that you need to be, have done and completed. I am here for you. I want you to be successful. So please reach out if you have any questions. Um, I will do my best to get back with you within 24 to 48 hours. Sometimes it's even quicker, but um, give me the time to do that. I know today I was at the state track meet. Um, when I'm recording this, it is um, February or May 28th, February, May 28th, and my granddaughter uh, was running in the state track meet. So that's where I was this morning. And uh, it's where I'll be tomorrow. She's running in the finals. So yay, go team. Um, but I want you to be successful. Make time to work on the assignments in the class. If you need me to reach out to you, if you need to do a Zoom session, if you want to meet up at WSU South, um, let me know. I don't have any face-to-face -face office hours scheduled. I don't go into the campus usually during the summer, but I can do that if I need to. Or we can do a Zoom, or we can just do a phone call. Whatever you need.
I will be reaching out to all of you over the next couple of weeks just to kind of say hi, um, make sure that your computer is set up and working and ready to go. Summer class is eight weeks. It goes by fast. Don't fall behind. Zeros will do strange things to your grade book. And as I said, I don't accept late work. So make sure that you are working and that you're getting those assignments done and getting them done on time. Again, I'm Linda Sessions. I'm here for you. Reach out if you have any questions. And uh, welcome to CED 115 Summer 2023.